Welcome back to the hang gliding files. Today we're going to talk about the uh, release of the uh, Hawk hang glider. The Hawk is the first release of our publicly available glider models. Up until now, we just let a few brave souls try our beta software. But now we're ready to let anyone download it and try it out. As a new virtual pilot, you only need to download the widget add-on provided in the links in this video. Unzip that download into your community folder. There is, of course, more to it than that, and that is what this video is all about. I want to talk to, uh, first to our beta testers and past downloaders. Um, one thing you need to do is delete all existing hang gliding file software add-ons that you previously downloaded and installed, and just download from the website the latest widget 2.0 or later, and what you'll get is everything that you've already had and, and better. You can also keep any site scenery that you've created or loaded as well. That's unaffected. Let's go over the general specifications of the Hawk. First, um, you need to know that there's more than one kind of hang glider. They come in several types of categories. The Hawk is the standard hang gliding files model for single surface gliders. And this single surface glider has about a 12 to 1 glide ratio about a 0.9 millimeters per second sink, stalls at about 20, VNE is about 70. It can be foot launched or winch launched, aero tow launching as long as it has a compatible tow vehicle. This is a very slow glider. And we've included three standard liveries. Uh, there's the default sky blue and the bumblebee. The pilot must be able to move in three dimensions to control the aircraft and the pilot is moved using a combination of joystick movements and sub buttons when necessary. These movements, these three uh, dimensions, are speeding up and slowing down, and that's moving forwards and backwards, roll, left or right, and yaw, which is twisting the pilot uh, with his feet in different directions. In addition to those basic flight controls, the pilot actually has to assume a couple of different poses and the pilot that is being moved can be put in any one of these following positions. On the ground, the glider can, the pilot can be in the set down mode, the pickup or walking pose, or the launching pose. In the air, the pilot will assume either a prone or an upright position uh, or pose, and he also can flare. Uh, another mode is running or walking, and the actual act of launching, and we don't have animations for those yet as we have um, don't have the skill set or the tools to do that yet. Well, a pilot is attached to the aircraft using a harness, and in the Hawk, we provide an old school cocoon harness and parachute. The harness animates with the pilot for all movement and all poses. One thing about the cocoon is it's a simple design and very comfortable but it's hard to get into in the air after you launch, but there are no zippers to fail. You just simply get into it and put your feet in. Well, with the Hawk, we've added an animated wind indicator that is attached to the front flying wire. This will let you know both the wind direction and strength when you are on the ground. You should always launch directly into the wind, and this feature will allow you to do that even when there are no other wind indicators present. And when you're flying, this indicator can help you know whether or not you're flying in a coordinated manner. You can hide this indicator just by clicking on it or make it come back by clicking on it again. A lot of pilots like to fly using wheels, especially when you're first learning, but even later they're nice to have. They make ground handling easier, they protect your control frame on hard landings and from being scratched, and you can even land on them if you like, you just roll right in. We provide two styles of wheels on the Hawk that you can configure, or you can, config or you can just hide the wheels altogether. It's all up to you. Well, every aircraft needs some form of instrumentation for the pilot to be able to fly correctly. You need to know certain in information that's going on around you. Well, the Hawk uses our standard variometer. On this variometer, it provides analog and a digital variometer. It shows you your airspeed, ground speed, your current L over D that you're achieving in the current air mass, your track direction, compass, wind direction and speed, the time of day, the total duration of your current flight, the ambient air temperature, and some other working buttons that we'll go over later. Another feature of the variometer is your ability to put the variometer uh, in different places on the control frame. 
you can have it on the left or right down tube or attached to the base tube in front of you. Uh, using these buttons uh, that are uh, highlighted on the control frame uh, and the mouse, you can change these things um, before you fly or even while you are flying. Well, that's it for all things that are very specific to the Hawk. If you don't want to hear any more uh, details about what we're doing and how we do things, that's the uh, basic concepts that we're going to talk about next, you can just skip to the how to get uh, the glider in the chapter at the end of this video. But now we're going to talk a little bit about an overall um, concepts of the hang gliding files. We have managed uh, with this version to get all the software we need to operate a hang glider in Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020 packaged into one single installation. That does mean that this installation is larger than what a single aircraft model will typically have in it. Well, that's because this package contains all the scenery models used to create custom site sceneries like ramps, windsocks, camping equipment, cars, trucks, gliding paraphernalia, etc. This allows for these items to be seen by all pilots on all sites when flying in multiplayer modes because all pilots have the widget. It also includes all the ground handling code. This allows us to deliver the software just once, no matter how many times or how many gliders you may ultimately own and use. Even other glider manufacturers do not have to provide this software. So ours will work on any glider or any aircraft. Variometers. All the complex code to provide a working variometer can be used by all other gliders by just using the variometer in this package. And we also include a site database. This is a complete site database with over 195 sites in it at this point and are included as part of this package. And the main thing that you get is the widget. And the widget is a tool that you can access from the toolbar uh, within Microsoft Flight Simulator when you're flying that allows you to teleport your glider to a site uh, and also allows you to control features of the glider. And last, we actually include the gliders themselves in this package. So we're going to include at least one glider for every category in this package as we progress over time. When we are finished with our development, you will have five free gliders that will all be, be delivered inside this single package. So whenever you upgrade this package over time, which we encourage, you should get updates on all of this, the things that I've just mentioned as part of each download. We also provide an additional product, and that is our PC desktop application that lets you build your own flying sites. It is not necessary for you to have this or download it to fly hang gliders or even have a hang glider, but you will need it if you intend on building your own flying sites or creating your own custom scenery. The Hawk is the first glider of this type of delivery and is going to become the standard glider model for all single surface type gliders. In the future, we will be providing a glider for each of the major glider categories, single surface, king post, performance, spoiler controlled, and foot launched sailplanes. And we'll explain the reason for that when we talk about custom gliders. Well, custom gliders is going to be a key feature we want to provide someday uh, for the flying community. Building a custom glider is easy enough as a standalone aircraft, but if you fly with your friends in the simulator, they will never see you as a hang glider because they are not a standard type of aircraft. The simulator decides what to draw for other aircraft that it encounters using logic and control settings. Once it has decided what another aircraft is, it will then draw it. The only person who will be able to see your custom glider is someone that who also owns that same custom glider and has it installed. That's just how it works. But by including all standard glider categories in a single product and that all glider pilots will see at least a proper hang glider whenever possible of that category. This also allows all gliders within the same category to always have the same performance parameters. And this will be uh, handy when we get to future things like fly-ins and competitions. A custom glider, therefore, can be any make or model of any existing hang glider or 
historical hang glider that you can think of, of any color and uh, combinations that you uh, desire. And they will basically be uh, standalone packages that you would download and install like any other aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now let's talk about how to get this software. It's a single zip file that you can download from our website. Use the link provided in the video down below in the comments and go to our website and download the zip file. It contains everything that we've talked about. You unzip this file into your Microsoft Flight Simulator community folder and that's it. It's installed and that's exactly the same process that you would use to upgrade this software. You can always go to the website using that same link and uh, check for different versions. We'll also announce any time that we uh, provide an upgrade. And the process is exactly the same as the original install. Once you've got the uh, software installed, you just simply start up Microsoft Flight Simulator and the way that you check to see that you have a proper install is you should see the Hawk hang glider in the hangar ready for you to choose to fly it and then once you are in the simulator flying with the Hawk you should be able to see the uh, hang gliding file widget on the toolbar inside the flying mode. That's it you're ready to go. Well at this point you have everything that you need to be able to fly a hang glider in Microsoft Flight Simulator but there if you've never flown hang gliders and even if you have you need to learn how to fly hang gliders in a simulator. And that first step is learning how to get to a site. You know, that starts with finding a site. And then once you are, are on a site, uh, the weather that you have chosen is going to determine mostly if you can soar. And the wind that is currently set up is going to determine mostly if you can even launch. And then there's the whole learning curve of learning how to get the glider from where it spawns into the system and to a point where you can launch. And then once you do know how to launch, then there's the whole process of learning how to fly it. And uh, hang gliders are lightly wing loaded. They have, uh, they're affected greatly by wind and thermals and other uh, conditions. And so you learn, you need to understand how that's going to work when you're flying. And then lastly is learning how to land and landing is much easier than it looks um, but you have to learn all these things now I'm not going to teach you how to fly hang gliding in this video but I'm just mentioning that uh, if you have trouble when you first uh, use the software and you're not able to fly the glider don't get uh, discouraged don't get uh, impatient if you and if you can't figure it out feel free to contact us at the hanglidingfiles.com or at uh, the hang gliding files at gmail if you want to send us an email. You can also just use comments on this video. Just post a comment and we'll uh, respond back to you right here in uh, YouTube and that can be beneficial to other pilots. Um, if you want to see more information about uh, learning to fly and flying hang gliders, uh, like and subscribe to this video. If you subscribe then any new videos that we uh, post up about flying will greatly help you learn how to fly hang gliders. Well, if you're still here, I want to thank you for uh, sticking with us through the whole video. Uh, we also have a Discord channel uh, that if you want to uh, get in touch with other pilots or us and go flying with us now that you have a glider, uh, we're going to start setting up regularly scheduled uh, community flights and we want to start flying with other pilots. So please let us know if you're interested in doing that. And that's it. Uh, we'll see you later. See you on the hill.